Once in a while in this city, the hockey world gets kind of dead. And honestly, that's kind of where we are right now. We're waiting for the finals. Nothing is really happening outside of that. I mean, I guess from the GM firings and the hirings and all that, there's a good amount of stuff to talk about. But when it comes to Vancouver Canucks related things, we hadn't really had too much going on in this world other than the prospects doing their things and the other guys at the World Championships. But today we're talking about the best player on the Vancouver Canucks, their 100-point scorer, and the update that we had gotten from his agent regarding the potential contract extension process. Let's talk about Elias Pettersson today. As his agent, J.P. Barry, made an appearance on the Got Your Back podcast, and in the show he ended up talking about Elias Pettersson and any sort of a contract extension. Let's go over to the profile of PD before we dive into the quotes here because it was a very intriguing idea that was brought up. JP Barry, just to sum it all up, was indecisive. He wasn't certain on anything. He wasn't going out there spreading good news. He wasn't going out there spreading bad news. You could interpret this any way you like. But let's talk about the client first and foremost. Elias Pettersson, 24 years old, 6'2", 176, signed to the end of 2024, making 7.35 AAV. He is eligible for an extension on July 1st. That is the day that he is allowed to put the pen to the dotted line and give himself a longer-term future with the Vancouver Canucks. We know Pedersen's a talented player. He had 102 points this season in 80 games played, 39 goals, 63 assists, the first 100-point Vancouver Canucks since Daniel Sedin in 2010-2011. It's been a long time coming, and Elias Pedersen, as a super Swede in this organization, has already cemented himself as one of the better players in its history. However, when it comes to Pedersen's career so far, it has been filled with a lot of wavering success of the team itself. They made the play-in series bubble playoffs, they won their series against Minnesota, they won in the first round against St. Louis, they had some success back in that time frame. But the prior seasons and the ones after that were all filled with doom and gloom and the Canucks finishing lower in the standings and the Canucks trading away their first round picks and making all-in moves like the Oliver ekman Larson trade. It's been rough for Vancouver fans, and for the players, it hasn't been any easier. Sure, they're getting points, sure, they're growing together, but for guys like Elias Pettersson, he said a few years ago that he wants to win, and he wants to be on a team that has the capacity to go far in the postseason. The Canucks right now have not been there since 2020, and because of their lack of success, you could debate, hey, is there a possibility that Elias Pettersson maybe goes the Matthew Kachuk route, for example, where he is an RFA at the end of his contract in 2024, the Canucks can't get a deal done, and thus they're forced to trade him away to another team? Is there some sort of a possibility as to that happening? And the way the Canucks could avoid this is if they just signed him right away on July 1st to an extension and Petey commits himself long-term to Vancouver. Well, this is where his agent, J.P. Barry, went on to the Got Your Back podcast, and he had some things to say. I'll leave a link in the description to the Got Your Back pod with J.P. Barry on as the guest, but I'll also leave a link in the description to this athletic article, LeBron Rumblings, What's Next on the NHL Coaching Carousel, plus free agent updates and more, because what Pierre Lebrun talks about in this piece is the quote from J.P. Barry on the podcast. It's kind of convoluted, but... Either way, we have ourselves some word here, and the LeBron thing goes out there and quotes it, so it's easier for me to screenshot and put it on the screen. Plus, we had Sino Chick on the Arcanuck subreddit post the excerpt of LeBron's article talking about Pedersen, so it's all available here online. This is what is talked about in the piece and via proxy, the podcast. JP Barry went out there and said this on the show. I think we're going to watch that market for RFA players who are already out there a little bit this summer. But I think in the talks that we have had with the Canucks, the Canucks do want to get together sometime this summer, or early fall at least, in the next few months, to try and talk about the future. We have stayed in contact. Elias is thinking about it. I think it's going to happen. We're going to sit down this summer. We're going to talk about staying there long term. That's the plan right now. And this is a very duplicitous way of going out there and talking about the Elias Pettersson contract extension, because if you're going to go out there and come at this from the angle of this being a bad thing, let's say that you believe Elias Pettersson is going to leave. If you look at this 
quote here, you're saying, okay, well, look, J.P. Barry and Elias Pettersson's party, they're going to watch the RFA market. They're going to go out there looking at what the other players are going to do and try to decide what they're going to do in response to that. They're going to wait until early fall to start conversing about contracts. What happens if another Matthew Kachuk situation goes down? Elias Pettersson might see that and he might be influenced to do that. That's a bad thing. They're getting together in the next few months just to talk about the future. They should be talking about that now. But, and this is a very big but, if you're from the perspective that this is a good thing, if you think PD is going to re-sign, then you could go out there and say, wait a minute, look, they've stayed in contact, Elias Pettersson is already thinking about staying long-term, and J.P. Barry said that's the plan. Stay long-term. That's what they want. And he thinks it's going to happen as well. They're going to sit down this summer, they're going to talk about it, and a long-term deal is the plan, right? But then you can say the other way, wait a minute, we don't know what the plan actually is. Is the plan to stay long-term, or is the plan to talk about staying there long-term? There's a little bit of nuance here, and J.P. Barry is a very smart agent that has his very intentional ways of nuancing his speech. So... Ultimately, this is a whole lot of nothing. It's non-committal. J.P. Barry is not saying that anything is going to happen or that anything is not going to happen. He's keeping his options open, and he's saying in the most neutral, vanilla way possible that we all just gotta wait. And so, this statement, this podcast quote that was transcribed on The Athletic and posted onto this YouTube video, isn't really anything that's worth talking about. But, because it's one of the only things that's actually out there, we're talking about it instead. Because at the end of the day, we want to see whatever updates are out there on Elias Pettersson, good or bad. Is it a good thing that J.P. Barry and his team are going to be watching the market for RFA players and maybe using those outcomes as a determining factor as to what happens with Pettersson? I don't know. Is it a good thing that they're going to be talking about sticking around long term? Yeah, probably. Barry does say it's a possibility they're going to go out there and talk about staying long term. That's the plan. But is it a good or a bad thing that they're going to wait until early fall to do that? You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But the ultimate point of this video is that our Elias Pettersson update isn't really an update. It's not a reason for panic. It's not a reason for joy. But what it is, is just a whole bunch of acknowledgements as to what we could see happening in the next few months. So for Elias Pettersson to already be thinking about sticking around long term, that's a good thing. But of course, we're not going to see anything go down and we're not going to make any conclusions until the pen is to the dotted line. Either Elias Pettersson sticks around long term, he gets that contract extension July 1st, or he plays the season without a contract extension, you risk the Matthew Kachuk route, you get something for Elias Pettersson when you trade him away next year, maybe that happens, maybe it doesn't, but either way, you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what are your opinions about Elias Pettersson and this update, sort of update, not really an update that we had gotten from J.P. Barry on the Got Your Back podcast. Do you think it was worth talking about? Do you think this is actually something that sparks up a conversation because it certainly did on Canucks Twitter the other day. They were talking about this on the radio, too. There was an entire segment done by Thomas Drance on this J.P. Barry thing, but either way, thoughts in the comments section below. Elias Pedersen, Vancouver Canucks, the future. Barry, the comments. What are your opinions on that? I hope you enjoyed this Vrishash Rolls 99. And bye.